Hi, this is Andrew with PandaComputers.com, and welcome to our video series on 12 basic commands every computer user should know. I encourage you all to watch all 12 of these videos. There may be something in there, even though you say, well, I know how to cut or copy, or I know what the shift key does, whatever. You might pick up some new stuff, okay? These are very common things that, that I come across each and every day with my new computer customers and my old computer customers. Today is video 5. This is the first one of our cut, copy, paste. This is something you'll use all over the place. Okay. What is cut, copy, paste? What's the difference? When you cut something, it basically means to remove it and put it someplace else. So I'm going to go ahead and go up here to my documents. Now I want you to understand this applies anywhere in your computer. It does not matter if you're on the desktop here with an icon and you're wanting to cut it and put it someplace else. It does not matter whether you're here in documents. Now realize that the word cut means to remove and put someplace else. Okay, We're talking about the cut feature right now. Now because of the paste feature is critical, we're going to kind of talk about paste very little in video number seven, but we're also going to talk about um, it in the, these all the videos. Cut, uh, paste is part of all of them. Okay, So let me show you an example here. We're going to go back into my pictures here where I have the pictures of the puppies. And say I wanted to take these pictures of these puppies and I wanted to put them in their own folder. Well, there's a couple of ways I can do that. One of the most common ways is we're going to do a right click here because I want to. Now, if you look back at the left and right mouse button, we learned that the right click modifies something. Well, I have an open area here, so I'm going to do a right click and I want a new folder. Or I can go up here and say File, New Folder. Double click, there's my new folder. I'm not even going to change the name, I'm just going to call it New Folder, okay? Now, if I wanted to take this picture and I wanted to cut it from there and say, I really don't want this in this folder, I want it in this folder over here. I'm going to do a right click because we're going to modify it. I'm going to say cut, which means to remove it. You'll see it gets grayed out. I'm going to go over to this new folder. I'm going to open it. I'm going to do a right click again because I'm modifying that picture. And uh, I'm going to say right down here and I'm going to say paste it. There's my picture. Now, what happened? I moved the picture from here to over here. I cut it and I pasted it. The same works with anything else, okay? Let's do an example on the internet. I'm going to pull up Internet Explorer. Wait for a second here, boom. I'm going to type in my search for puppies again. Puppies. Cute picture of a puppy here. I'm going to click on it. I like this website, whatever it is. I want to send it to a friend of mine. I'm going to go up here to my URL, I'm going to choose it, and it, see it's now highlighted here. When we highlight something, we're telling the computer to take this, and I'm either going to cut, copy, paste it, save it, print it, whatever. We're going to do a right click, and I'm going to say cut or copy. I can do either or here. Now, most of the time it's going to be a copy, but I'm just going to say cut. So I'm going to cut it, it's going to remove it from there. Now, say I'm going to open up an email or something else. I'm not going to use email, but I'm just going to use notepad or something, okay? Just to show how I move it. It doesn't matter if you're going to put this in an email address. I'm going to do a right click and I'm going to say paste. Now I've pasted that email address right there or the address for the website is right there in puppies. Yeah, it's a big long letter whatever, but if I take and put this in an email and I send this to a friend of mine or something and they click on that URL, it will go to the exact same website. Okay, I'm not going to save this one and I'll go ahead and close it. Okay, now the same thing happens if I want to um, go in here and grab some information. Okay, dailypuppies.com. More information about puppies here. Okay. Say I wanted to, to copy this here. Now, this is more of the copy feature, but it works the same. I could take this, and I could take my mouse. I highlight it because I'm telling the computer I'm choosing this. Okay? How do we do that? Left mouse button. We drag over the top of it. Let's do that again here. I come over here. I click on it so that my little slashing arrow, see there, my arrow went away, and I have my little line now. I hold down the left mouse button. I drag it, the mouse to the right. It highlights all that, and I let go. I just told the computer that I choose that. Now I can cut it or paste it or copy it or whatever. Since I haven't cut or copied it yet, I can't paste. Okay, it's not available. So I'm going to do a right mouse click. You'll notice that paste is out. It says I cannot cut this because I don't own this web page. I can't move it. See, the cut's gone. This is why I did this web page. You can't cut stuff off the Internet because you don't own that document. But I can copy it, and I can go back to my notepad or my document or a letter I'm writing or whatever it is an email to a buddy, do a right click, and I can paste. Practice this, please, several times. Now, we're going to not save this one. Let's go ahead and go to a document and see what the difference is there. If I go here to, I'm going to go back to this uh, Washington State thing that I had earlier. Okay, it's about, oh, wrong one. Let me go back to my programs here. Start, programs, 
documents. Uh, Washington Living Will. Okay, this is a living will for my mother that I bought, and we're gonna cut and copy stuff here. Okay, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna tell you and say I I made this document. I didn't, but I, let's say I made this, and I'm gonna go here. I want I want to change this number one. I don't like where it is. I want it down farther, or I want it. So I'm gonna have to cut it and move it. Now I can do one of two things. I can either do a right click here and I can copy or paste um, whatever's here. Um, now, why is paste there, Andrew? You haven't copied anything. It still has a memory of the stuff from the internet, the puppy stuff. Okay. So if I hit paste, all of a sudden I have puppy stuff in the middle of my living will. I can cut it. Now, watch what happens. Boom. Cut. It's gone. See? Now I can go ahead and scroll. And now, as long as I don't do anything else, I can go right down to here to number five and I can do a right click. And I can say paste. Boom. Now number one is down here. Okay. I'm going to click undo here and undo again. And it's going to put it back. One more time for the undo up here. Boom. It's back. Now that's not part of the cut, copy, paste. But see how I did that? Now I could do right click it here and say copy. And then I had to come back up here and delete this. But if you're wanting to cut things to either remove them or paste them. Now what else can I do with this? I, if I want to cut that, I don't want, maybe I want to cut it. I want to delete it outright. I don't want it there at all. I hit the delete key. It's gone. That's another form of cut, meaning I'm just cutting it out of the document. I don't want this sentence in here. I don't want this paragraph in here. And I hit the delete key. I cut it out of there, and it just gets lost out in cyberspace someplace. Okay. When you cut or copy, it stays in memory until you paste it or you cut and copy something else. Now, let me say that again. When you cut or copy, it stays in the computer's memory until you either shut the computer off or you paste it or you cut and copy something else. Now, even if you paste it, it's still in memory until it gets changed. And we'll go through that when we get to the paste video. So now I think you better understand what it means to cut or copy something or to paste it. Okay, Cut is not used nearly as much as copy is. Okay, Copy is used a lot more often. Let me show you one more example here. I'm going to do a, a right click. I'm going to say New Folder. I choose the Folder option. Okay, sorry about that. I created my new folder here in my desktop. Okay. Now, I'm going to use this as an example because I'm going to show you how I can, I can cut and paste something. Say I wanted to take this icon here and I wanted to cut it because I want to put it in its own little folder over here. And, and I can, let, let me go down here. I'm going to do, I, I chose the folder again. We're, I'm reemphasizing some of the things you learned in videos uh, two and three. Left to choose it, right to modify it. I'm going to rename it. Okay, and I'm going to call this uh, web stuff, okay, meaning the stuff that I use for my internet. Dreamweaver is a program that creates websites. Do a right click, and I'm going to say cut. I'm going to open up the web folder, do another right click, and paste it. See? There we go. I cut the shortcut from here, and I put it into the folder here. See how that worked? I could cut one of them. I could cut 20. I could cut whatever I want. Okay? This has been Andrew with PandaComputers.com. I hope you find this video helpful to understand the definition of cut versus copy. Like I said, copy is used much more often than cut is, but cut there is places for it. There is times you can, you can cut it and move it, or you can just cut and delete it, whatever you want to do. I'll see you in the next video. Have a great day.